So, did you catch that guy on the train who stole your ass? I did, but it wasn't the waiter, it was the butler. Really? Yeah, he tried to butler away, but I got him. Did the train arrive at 11.45? I think it said it will do, yeah. So you got the half it right? I got half of it right, okay. Yeah. That was a difficult question. That yeah, was. it was. So? Algebraic expression. Now that sounds terrifying because of algebra. And letters and numbers and oh, melting. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not as scary as it sounds at all. In fact, if we check out our Indices 1 video, then come back to this. This is really easy. It is exactly the same. And with letters that we used at the time for expression rules. We had the rule about timesing two things together yes. with an indice. If you have a to the two and a to the three, if you add the powers, it would be a to the five because yeah. the a represents the same base number. And that's an algebraic expression. It is. You could replace the a with m. And it would be like that. It'd be the same. M to the letter. five. It's the same thing. And that's all this is really about. It is. There's a few rules you've got to know, but you probably will know them already. We'll go through them anyway. We'll go through them anyway. Um, there's a times a. That's just a squared. A squared. It is just an adding the powers rule. Yeah. Each of these a's is to the invisible. It's to, it's to the one, but you don't write to the one. Yeah, because everything is normally. A plus a. Which is just two lots of a. Because you've got two lots of a, they're the same number. Yeah. And a minus a equaling zero. Is it the same thing? Yeah. And those are your rules you might have been aware of. Yeah. Again, you can replace this a with any letter of the alphabet you wanted, and it would be the same thing. That's what you've yeah. got to notice about algebraic expression, so you don't get scared in your exam if that a was to become an m or an f. It does get a bit more complicated, doesn't it, Wayne? And uh, this is the A grade stuff. This is as hard as it gets in the algebraic expressions. I'll give you a nice little example. All right. So if we have 2e squared f to the 3 times, say, 3e f to the 5, what does that equal? Well, you have to split it into families. Each one of these things is separate, apart from 2 and the 3, which are part of numbers, which are the same. But E and F are different things. You've got to treat them separately. So first you treat the numbers together. 2 times 3 is 6. You do. Then you have to treat the E's the same. What would that be? Well, that's actually E to the 1. Just like up here. So you just add the two powers together. It becomes E to the 3. And the same here. It becomes F to the 8. So there's no merging. If they're different letters, they represent different things. You've got to keep them separate. Yeah, and that's as hard as it gets. You've got to understand this. And sometimes they add numbers, the A might mean something, and then you can apply it. Yep. And that's as hard as it's going to get. It is. Yeah. That's pretty much sums up a video. It does. Uh, check out our Indices 1 and Indices 2 video for the um, rules and stuff if you wait, need to. Wait. It's 11.45. The train! <laughs>